Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm helping a young lady via email. Uh, she sent me this clip art, and she wants to put it inside the shape of Texas, and she wants it to cut out the whole thing but still have the boot engraved. And this is what the total outline is going to look like. So I took the boot. I'm going to resample it. It's already 600 dots per inch, so that's good. I'm going to go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap, make it black and white, go up to trace bitmap, which yours might be under bitmap, and outline trace and clip art. It just takes just a second. Her main question was how to get rid of the spurs and get rid of the interior part. That's pretty easy. So we're going to take our boot now, and we're going to bring in a rectangle tool, and we're going to fill the rectangle with yellow, and we're going to put it in the back of the page. I've got a hotkey for it. Yours will be order back of page. So this is our clip art, and it's normally on top, and it is a crisp, clean vector file now. But we need to go to arrange and ungroup. And then we can take this white out. And we could have really done it two different ways. But now I'm going to turn it into no fill with a left click, right click on red. And if she didn't want the, the, the decorative part of the boot, we can delete it. But this was her main question, was how to get rid of the spurs. Just use a two-point line and go from that node to to a node, take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Now it's two different lines, so you can fix that by going to the Smart Fill tool and filling it in. And there you have a completed outline of a boot. Now let's just real quickly put it inside the shape of Texas. And I'm just going to bring in the shape of Texas and put it like right there let's say now what you can do is take your boot and i've got my nudge factor set on or nudge distance set on two inches so let's control d and make a duplicate then we can make this black by double clicking on your pen tool turn it away from my hairline let's make it two points and make it black so it will engrave Now we can take these two items and put a boundary around it. Now I'm going to arrow click down. There's our new shape. And I can arrow click down and over to the left. And now you have a engraved boot. And it will cut along. It will still have some engraving. The outline is actually on the outside or in the center. But it will work pretty good. And this one doesn't look as good as the one I did before because you can't really tell it's much of Texas. But that's how you can get rid of the spurs and, and have this whole shape cut out. And you could fix this boot and make it actually engrave a little bit better and make it all be on the inside. Let's turn it to a hairline again. We can leave it black. Now let's go to the contour tool, which is under effect contour. And we're going to contour to the inside a very little amount, like 0 0.003. Didn't do much, but you can see it. Our red line, let's go a little bit further, 0 0.005. Okay, that'll work good. Go up, click on your item. Go up to arrange and break contour apart. And if you grab in the center, it should grab just the red. And if you can see that, and now turn this black, we'll get rid of our contour docker. Double click on it. Go up to two points. Go to black. And now you can see it's going to engrave a little bit more of the boot. You, we could have actually contoured a little bit more and got the boot a little bit smaller to fit inside that cut. But this will still work. This will still be engraved. Now this will cut and, and go away. But if we would have contoured a little bit more, maybe 0 0.07, all the black would have been inside. Anyway, I hope that helped her a little bit. Thank you for watching.